There is a war on women, but it is not Minnie Mouse in a pantsuit. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, the student extraordinaire, and today we're talking about Minnie Mouse and new outfit. I don't know any Minnie Mouse stuff, I'd be wearing it. But instead we got Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Kissing you with my eyes open, but you said you said keep them closed and be in the moment. Nope. <laughs> and as always, sources will be linked down below. As a little bit of background, in case you've been living under the Disney rock, um, Minnie has a new outfit. Now it's not a permanent outfit; it's a celebratory, temporary outfit. It is a pantsuit that was designed by Stella McCartney. And it is in existence because Disneyland Paris is celebrating 30 years. And March will be Women's History Month. That's the background for this pantsuit. Now, the outfit is not red and white. It is actually blue and black. She still has a bow, but it is blue and black. And her shoes are no longer yellow. And people are <laughs> in an uproar about it because the world is breaking in front of our eyes. Now, this is the first time Minnie Mouse is wearing not a skirt and not a dress ever. Like, ever, ever. Which, you know, it, I think is a good thing. Not because I think women shouldn't be allowed to wear skirts and dresses, because I think they should, if they want to. But it's about options and flexibility, and I don't know a single person who wears dresses and skirts, who only wears dresses and skirts at this time. I know people like to mix and match, spice things up, and that's totally cool and should be encouraged, in my humble opinion. Stella McCartney has said that this outfit is supposed to symbolize progress for a new generation. The new generation of young girls who are going to be growing up and seeing representation. And this is a new outfit to symbolize that. Easy peasy. Now some people are just saying that Disney's trying to be woke and it's all very performative and I do agree that Disney does do performative things instead of actually addressing root issues. For example, in this uh, tweet by Wild Rose Beauty Ambassador uh, Tilda Swinton, people, hey Disney, you should actually give gay, queer characters storylines and maybe pay your employees a little wage. Disney, Minnie Mouse wears a pantsuit now. However, I think that Disney can be wrong about some things but still be doing right in other ways and I think the pantsuit is a good thing. I think it's totally normal for companies and people and cultures and society to evolve with time and I just want to read it like it's not like Disney is permanently changing Minnie Mouse. It's just another outfit. It's a celebratory moment and she gets a new outfit to wear for it. In fact she gets two new outfits. One of them is a dress. Just one of them is not a dress. And I think that Disney should be applauded for this new outfit while still recognizing that this is not the end of their advancing women's rights. One thing that really, really is bothering me about what people are comparing Minnie to is people are comparing her to Hillary Clinton now because she wears a pantsuit. And first of all, Hillary Clinton I'm not going to speak necessarily on her because I'm not, I'm not personally a huge fan of her, but is it at the same time, like if we're just thinking of what she's done on a very, very general scope, you know, she's a female politician, she's accomplished a lot of things. Is it bad to look like a woman who's accomplished a lot of things? She's problematic in other ways, obviously, we're not getting into that right now. But aside from Hillary Clinton, lots of women wear pantsuits, or I don't necessarily know if it's quite a pantsuit, but my, like, suit, which, you know, has pants and a jacket, is, you know, it has pants. Like, I have worn a pantsuit. I don't know many women who, you know, are in the working professional world, depending on the industry, who have not. It's super relatable to wear. Like, it's not just like, oh, this one horrible woman who has done so many terrible things to America wears pantsuits. Lots of women wear pantsuits who accomplished awesome great things or who have yet to accomplish awesome great things and Minnie Mouse wearing this is not saying that she's a terrible mouse. It's like, what? I, if you know what I'm missing, let me know in the comments because I do not know. 
If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to like the video, comment down below what your thoughts are, and don't forget to subscribe. Additionally, if you want to make sure you never miss any of my videos or anything like that, you should not only hit the bell, but also find the link to my Buy Me A Coffee page where you can become a follower without paying any money at all, and then you'll get a weekly post with all my stuff and bonus. What has me, like, cackling, but cackling, I am deceased. People are now saying she looks too much like Mickey Mouse because they're both wearing pants. Mickey Mouse doesn't even wear pants. He wears shorts. It's a pretty, pretty different look. Um, you know, Mickey Mouse. But Mickey Mouse wears pants in other outfits, I think. But it's like, maybe, maybe clothes don't need to be gendered. Oh my god. Maybe you are who you are and you're not defined by your outfit. Maybe women can wear pants, men can wear dresses, and non-binary people in all other genders can wear whatever they want. Anyone can wear whatever they want. And we don't recognize them by their outfit, we recognize them by their character, by themselves, whatever name they want to go by. That's how we recognize people. Oh my god, Minnie Mouse wearing pants makes her unrecognizable from Mickey Mouse. Oh, boo -hoo. Too bad for- they're mice! As I mentioned about like the performative you know, it is in some ways like a political show, but I think people sometimes want to purposely miss the point and make things into really big issues. And by making that into the big issue, they're not addressing the actual problem. For instance, there's also just recently the big drama with the M&Ms and the deassification of the M&Ms. And instead of like focusing on how I mean, I don't really understand the M&M thing, but I'm not, like, upset about it. And instead of thinking, oh, you know, we're celebrating Disneyland Paris, we're celebrating Women's History Month, she has this cool new outfit that she's not even going to keep forever, but, you know, it's fun, it's new, it's fresh, to show that, like, change is fine, change is good. Oh, no, we're going to be like, Disney sucks. The left is getting sick. They surprise you because Minnie Mouse is in a pantsuit. The war on women. How is this the war on women? Just because Minnie Mouse is wearing a pantsuit, she maybe chose to wear the pantsuit! It's not like women are being forced into wearing pants. If we would want, in fact, I would think it's more often that people are forced into wearing skirts and dresses, or we get this social idea. So if we want to wear whatever we want, that's fine. That's not the war on women. There is a war on women, but it is not Minnie Mouse in a pantsuit. I think super... Crane has a great tweet that I want to end the video with. Fox News is demanding M&M's be sexier and Minnie Mouse wear a dress, <laughs> confirming that Republicans don't think that even female cartoon characters should have control of their own bodies. Now, I don't want to say it's just Republicans who think this about Minnie Mouse or the M&M's, but I think it's just the general idea of people are so fixated on what women wear that they are getting upset by an M&M and a mouse and their outfits. They are so fixated on what women can and cannot wear, should and should not wear, that is appropriate, that they are upset about an M&M and a mouse. This is unacceptable, and I think it's just more indicative of how even today, in 2022, women are oppressed. There's this narrative and idea a lot that people will try to say, oh, well, things are so much better, you know, and yeah, we can, we can vote, but how many women are still in, like, political positions of power? And if they are there, they get treated terribly, they are not treated the same on campaign trails, and that's just in political power, but just in general representation, in ideas of what women are supposed to be, do, act like, Boys will be boys, but girls can't be girls. That wraps up this video. I know the end got um, a bit darker than I thought it was going to get, to be honest, but it is what it is. If you thought this video was interesting, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below your thoughts on the issue. I would love to know, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time with more film, commentary, and general lifestyle content.
I'm not talking.